Hello, everyone. So welcome to Pennsylvania. We are here mainly for the eclipse that is happening tomorrow. Our flight here was incredible because I happened to look out the window and over, like we had just passed Alaska going into Canada and we saw the Northern Lights for a long time. It was probably like 30 minutes to 45 minutes of just endless, constantly changing Northern Lights, which was Amazing. I've never seen them before um, and so that was such a treat anyway um, thank you for tuning in and uh, we're also going to San Diego on this trip which is amazing gonna see some friends and um, yeah I will see you guys wherever we end up tomorrow okay so see you then <laughs> Greetings from a Panera parking lot. We are in our Eclipse gear and um, we've been driving for about three hours right outside of Albany. It's cold. Getting some snacks. Where's Louie? Where's Louie? Made it to the rest stop. We're at Bell Core somewhere in upstate New York. Perfectly blue skies. Hoping that holds. There are aliens. <laughs> no, there are many people. We're here five hours early. <laughs> Okay, I'm never gonna be able to capture this perfectly. 
ugly, but uh, yeah, it's stunning. It is 3 p.m. Did everybody watch the sun? I apologize for my shaking hands. It's so cold. Coming out. Oh, 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 glasses back on. Woo! Look how fast it comes back out. How you doing, Louie? How they're like not really normal shadows. <laughs> yeah, because the lights are so attractive on the coming. One four eight. Peace, be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Good morning from Kingston, New York, question mark. We just stopped by because on our way home, um, there was a bookstore that we wanted to hit. And um, now we have a three hour, three hour ride home. So I will catch you guys then. Hi everyone, welcome back. I just need to say, for the people who travel to Korea and Japan, I get it, I fully get it, but if you are from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, which is where we were on this trip, if you are from one of those three places and you are not obsessed with your own trees, I have seen the most beautiful cherry blossom and like all other blossom trees on this trip than I have in Korea. I think that like Korea and Japan, it's just the sheer amount of them in like one place. Like the fact that there are streets lined with them like i i fully understand it but like pennsylvania look at this like weeping gorgeous weeping hot pink cherry thing there's like a ton of them they're huge also like the biggest just like the most wonderful shaped trees i've ever seen like i'm having a ball on this trip this is my first real spring in pennsylvania i lived in this like new york city but the trees are like very strategic there this is like every single yard <laughs> stunning so if you are from a place that has blossoms i hope that you are still really loving them um even though it's like commonplace for you in your own town but anyway yeah we're back so far on this trip we've been to three states we're gonna tack on another one we're still heading to california and that leads me to thanking the sponsor of this video <laughs> uh, which is surfshark vpn so vpns are a virtual private network where basically you can take your computer and do things like changing its location in case you are in places where 
you can't access certain things. So like if you need a certain Netflix library, if you do not have Young Royals available in your country on Netflix, please use the VPN and watch it. I binged it before we left. So yeah, you can change your location. You can also secure your network if you are like using a lot of public Wi-Fi, which we have been um, so much sketchy public Wi-Fi on this trip. So if you access like a sensitive website, people can't get in there and steal your information. There's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it and if you realize you don't use it, Bah. I've used Surfshark for years, love them very much. So um, I have a code down below. You can use Carry Cakes, and there's a link down there as well, which includes a really great discount, including three extra months free of Surfshark VPN. So definitely check them out. All that information will be in the description box, but thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this. So I will catch you guys in a bit. Oh, just this tree, this tree. I can't get over it. I feel bad for my neighbors. I keep taking pictures of their house. Yeah, I'm just, it was a really wonderful trip. Uh, the eclipse was stunning. So I hope a lot of you guys also got to see it. And if not, I hope that my footage helped you have a little taste. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, ah, uh, I'm gonna head inside. It's like 60, no, it's like 75 degrees outside. I'm gonna actually get out of the sun. It's a little bit hot, but um, we have one more day and then I will see you guys in San Diego. Oh, so, okay, goodbye from me and my favorite tree on earth at the moment. See you later. <laughs>
Oceanside. Oceanside Pier. Very happy to be here. Even though it is like the overcast weather, this is like the weather in which my family and I always went to the beach for. So it feels very natural to be here on like a gloomier day. I just like forgot all the smells. Like Kurt and I went for a walk yesterday morning as well. And just smelling like certain, there's a lot of like very heavily scented plants in San Diego. Um, and I just forgot them. So I was on my walk and I was just like, <laughs> smelling everything but um yeah it's been it's been really great and i'm happy i was able to be home and uh, i'll see you guys at the airport probably is the next time i'll check in so <laughs> We got in last night about an hour early. It was quite a short flight considering it was also an empty flight. So it felt very cozy. Like it didn't really feel like a, I don't know. I, I, we hit a lot of turbulence, but I felt no anxiety. It was very nice. So um, yeah, just a, a great trip, a very hectic one. That was definitely like not a trip I would do again but i'm just happy that i got to see my family my friends i got to see all the new babies even though there were like hiccups in the schedule i got to see everyone at least for a couple seconds and um and yeah it was also wonderful to leave i mean right when cherry blossoms were out but other than that like nothing else was really getting green but to come back to a rainy spring day and everything is green, I feel alive, I feel so happy. So for today, I'm still kind of jet lagged. I woke up at 4 a.m. So I'm just going to be editing this video for you today. Um, and then we're gonna dive right into packing and moving. And then, yeah, the next couple of videos are gonna be in the new apartment, which is pretty exciting. So um, yeah, I I feel like people got a little bit confused. We signed the papers, we signed the contract for the house, but we are not moving in until the end of April. Um, so in now 10 days. Um, so we've got like a week and a half to get our lives together and um, move. So that's our next adventure. And yeah, thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this. There will be a link down below, but you can use the code Carrie Cakes to get a discount and then also three months free of Surfshark VPN. So definitely check out the description box, but yeah, I will catch you guys later. Thank you as always for being along on the ride. I just did like a mini run through of editing this and it's funny that this was such a long trip, but I ended up just because I was seeing friends and family, I didn't film as much. Um, so it's just so funny how, like what I decided to film. Um, yeah, it felt truly surreal to be back in San Diego, um, to just be like in my hometown again, um, but there was no family there. <laughs> so um, yeah, the trip was truly just, I think overall surreal and a little bit of a rush and um, ended up meeting like a lot of nice people in the airport. I, Kurt, Kurt hates it how much I when when I'm in America how much I small talk but to be fair I never start the conversations I just don't know how to end them and I like talking to people so 
I tend to get like roped into these long conversations. Kurt was dying because for the trip from Newark to San Diego, it's a six hour flight. And I talked to the guy next to me for four of those hours until I completely passed out. Um, so I just, and, and again, like in the airports and things like that, I just ended up having cute conversations with strangers. And I always love that. That always kind of like recharges me and reminds me that there are interesting and lovely people everywhere you go. So yeah, I, I feel like even though the trip was definitely exhausting, um, I'm really happy we, we got to do it. So yeah, I will catch you guys next week in whatever state we're in. We're kind of, I mean, the house is a mess, but it's sort of like, do I clean it? I don't know. So just be hmm, prepared, but yeah, just love to you always. Hope you're doing well. See you next week.